let us come back and do, do one more uh, preparation uh, now now we are going to prepare uh, commercially as i said uh, carbon monoxide right now let us write the heading preparation of carbon monoxide yes so when you are preparing carbon monoxide remember these four important things yes yeah this is a very common question asked to prepare carbon monoxide first is let us learn about producer gas producer gas done after that let us name label this as water gas let us label the next one as w s water gas okay w g water gas shift reaction okay yes water gas shift reaction of water gas shift equation anything is the same equation so let us w g s e let us also learn about a gas called wood gas right so what do i mean by producer gas basically this producer gas in uh, it is in us right they used it earlier earlier uh, days they used to use this producer gas to be, as a fuel for preparing or the manufacturing of iron and steel yes that that efficient is that fuel so this producer gas basically <coughs> they call it as suction gas also suction gas remember this if the uh, your teacher is asking you what is suction gas it's called producer gas so producer gas how is it produced basically you want to take coke okay yes now what e what actually is coke we always use coke coke right what is what actually is coke coke is something like you know it is having less impurities and has more of carbon content yeah that is what we need for combustion isn't it so coke is some uh, what is coke if somebody asks you you would just say less of impurities uh, and high carbon content which can be further used for combustion yes so what am i going to do i want to use coke i'm going to combust this combust this means heat in the presence of oxygen and along with this the atmospheric nitrogen also present reacts now observe i'll tell you what is the use of this uh, uh, nitrogen now observe carefully carbon plus oxygen yes carbon monoxide and nitrogen gas is again out nitrogen gas is again out so let us um, uh, uh, balance it so two complex now observe this carbon monoxide or this nitrogen the use of this nitrogen here in this particular reaction is to maintain nitrogen is to maintain calorific value okay what is this calorific value maintain calorific value <coughs> what is calorific value basically this particular reaction is a highly exothermic reaction yes so delta h value is highly exothermic kilojoules per mole high amount of energy large amount of energy is released exothermic means large amount of energy is released now what happens we already know this gets poisoned carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas isn't it yeah so to maintain or the amount of energy whatever or heat what was was released now nitrogen is going to maintain that heat what does it do basically calorific value if you have to define it's is something like uh, to heat sustain or retain that uh, the amount of heat whatever heat it this is uh, released retain that heat when or the amount to maintain that temperature which is released due to combustion uh, of carbon or complete combustion of carbon okay let me write clearly explain now calorific value is amount of heat produced right when carbon undergoes complete combustion right it's completely combusted in the presence of oxygen so that particular calorific value is going to be maintained by this nitrogen that means it will not prevent this carbon monoxide to get further poisoned so that is the reason we call it as to maintain calorific value or to maintain that heat in the reaction okay done maybe i've given you a big explanation let us come back to water gas when i come back to water gas again the same thing you are going to pick up coke now here what are you going to do you are going to add steam to this steam yes now what did i say here this these reactions are highly exothermic reactions now here what happens when you're heating or coke over steam high amount of steam here observe carbon monoxide plus hydrogen 
that gas now hydrogen gas this is called water gas this is called this particular thing is called producer gas okay so this water gas reaction when this has happened when you're heating steam over this the reaction is highly endothermic it is going to absorb heat and then only the reaction proceeds further so it is 131 kilojoules per mole so every time you're supposed to supply energy to this reaction then only you will be getting products otherwise the carbon monoxide as i said it is it will it will become poisonous right that we don't need it right because it already it is a poisonous uh, as we said it is poisonous gas so to prevent this poisonous gas the heat has to be supplied continuously for the reaction to proceed in the forward direction so co plus h2 right so let us write here your uh, producer gas when I speak about producer gas it is CO plus N2 is producer gas right CO plus H2 is your water gas let us come back into water gas shift reaction now observe carefully your carbon monoxide yeah and your water are going to combine carbon monoxide and this water so in water gas shift reaction carbon monoxide and water will combine this is a reversible reaction uh, careful so this is going to shift of uh, the equilibrium right so this is a reversible reaction what do you get now just add you get carbon dioxide plus hydrogen this water gas shift reaction basically is used to prepare n number of compounds for example i can prepare ammonia from this using this i can prepare methane using this i can prepare hydrocarbons using this I can prepare, I can also prepare, if I say uh, like uh, methanol from this, methanol is CH3, CH3OH. I can prepare methanol because of this particular reaction, equilibrium state reaction, carbon monoxide plus water, reversible reaction. I am. I can use this technique for preparing n number of compounds. You will be studying this in later classes. You will be studying how uh, you will be preparing hydrocarbon from this, ammonia with this, yeah, that. Yeah. Let us come back to wood gas. Now, wood gas basically, I'll give you the composition of the wood gas. Wood gas basically contains hydrogen, traces. It contains nitrogen. It also contains, if I say methane, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. Yes. So, yeah. And this, this whole composition, these are the main thing. Yes. Apart from this, these are in trace quantities, which is called as wood gas. Yes. Please note that. Now let us do the lab preparation method for carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. So now till now we have been studying the commercial methods of preparation of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. So when I come go with the lab method because your question may be directly asked explain the laboratory method for preparation of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. So let us write both carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Yes. Now for this lab preparation I am going to pick up limestone. So what is limestone? So lab method from limestone calcium carbonate is limestone isn't it calcium carbonate yes so I'm going to pick up calcium carbonate now I'm going to add a reducing agent yes so metals Okay. reducing agent so what is a reducing agent basically remember like this when somebody says a reducing agent remember this word r o l this is easy for you all so what is r reducing agent loses electrons and itself gets oxidized r o l roll means reducing agent loses electrons itself gets oxidized addition of oxygen yes now observe carefully what do i get zinc is acting as a reducing agent it is going to pick up one oxygen from this so the, it becomes zno that's why you know oxidized correct now what else is left yes you're left with caco2 correct so calcium carbonate if it now caco2 3 it has become caco2 now because one oxygen has gone if this further dissociates just observe carefully calcium oxide yes one is gone now after calcium oxide what else is left carbon monoxide simple so what do i get now calcium oxide plus carbon monoxide simple as that just observe one and one two two calcium one carbon oxide 
right that is your uh, reaction for your uh, zinc oxide and calcium uh, uh, carbonate fine so now from this limestone let us do the next reaction that is again preparation of carbon dioxide from calcium carbonate that is this now here what am i going to do i am instead of an uh, reducing agent i want to use an acid to this i'm going to add hcl to this when I'm going to add HCl to this, just observe. Now, what happened here? What what got replaced? This got this has oxidized. Calcium oxide, cal, uh, carbon monoxide has come now. Here, let us divide calcium plus two, carbonate minus two, H plus H plus one, Cl minus. Calcium chloride, cation anion, observed. Correct. Now you have this carbonate ion and this H. <laughs> this further when I speak when they combine how do they combine they combine to form your uh, uh, carbonic acid so further if that dissociates it becomes water and carbon dioxide so this is what I prepared carbon dioxide gas this is what I prepared here I prepared carbon monoxide gas so this is your lab preparation for carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide